I'm here with uh, Waterwell Site Inspection Team at Porcupine School, Kanungu School. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what it means. <laughs> yeah, and with uh, the headmaster here, Joel Lazarus, we had a chance to talk to them about having a borehole here in their community. There's 826 students of which 424 girls, 402 boys. There's actually four villages that send their kids to this school. And they have 12 teachers. This is a full primary, uh, primary school, standard one to eighth grade, six-year-old uh, to 20-year-olds. We're up in Mongochi. We're really excited about the reception that we have here. And I just want to show you some of the, some of the, the placards that the students have made. And of course, water is life. And they just want to share, you know, how thankfully I got Proverbs 11, 24 and 25. It says that uh, he who gives will be enriched and he who waters will himself be watered. So there's a lot of water going right here. And I want uh, Dr. Dylan William and Siobhan Leahy to see the people you're helping. One of the things that we did at the beginning of the year was contact the Malawi Department of Education said we want to help schools reopen. We want there to be clean water so they can do hand washing and for good sanitation. And so our uh, representative here in the country came all the way up here, found this school, placed this borehole. This was placed in February 2021. And it's real interesting because they have, uh, we're very grateful for having this, this, this precious gift and we had one here that's going to help prevent the spread of coronavirus. They're going to be able to wash their hands, but also good sanitation for latrines and everything else. So it's a real step forward for this. Uh, they've got a water source that's intermittent, doesn't work all the time. So this will on, not only be used here at the school, but also a number of different villages that are in this surrounding area. So we just wanted to have you see what you have accomplished by your consistent generosity. And so as Proverbs 11, 24 and 25 says over here, our hope and prayer for you is that you'd be completely enriched by your gift to this school. And we have a water committee and some of the teachers. Uh, this is the headmaster who's been here since 2012, which is nine years high in the mountains here, working really hard for furthering the education of this community. So. We'd like to just have him say a few words to Dr. Dylan, William, and Siobhan Leahy, foremost educators. Thank you very much. Uh, as you know, my name is Joel Hazel Lazaro, the head teacher of Kanungu Primary School uh, here uh, in Mangochi, uh, basically traditional authority, Nankumba, and is in Mangochi West. Uh, I'm very, very excited uh, that uh, water wells uh, for Africa uh, has donated this borehole to this school. As you can see on those placards, we are very, very much proud of this uh, donation because previously uh, we had a lot of problems. Our learners used to walk long distances in searching for uh, portable and clean water. So uh, with the coming of this borehole, we are very, very proud. And this uh, improves our sanitation here because our learners are now able to wash their hands, uh, the toilets now, the urinals, the classrooms are all clean. So we are very, very grateful. We are very thankful uh, with this donation. And we don't take this for granted. We really, really much appreciate for what you have done to us. And this school has a lot of problems. Uh, we need people who can assist us. We don't have uh, enough, enough blocks. Uh, 
we have no electricity here, we have no library. So we have so many things uh, that can assist our learners so that they can proceed with their education and become the productive citizens of this country. So uh, in short, I'm very proud. Uh, thank you very much for this donation. We really, really appreciate, appreciate. Thank you very much. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>